Good morning, New Beginnings. It's me, Pastor Danish House. Today is Friday, March 19th, 2021. Thank you so much for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I am glad you decided to make me part of your life today. And I'm delighted that you're part of my life as well. Well, two people that I'm delighted are part of my life <laughs> have a birthday today. So uh, happy birthday to Andy Miller and happy birthday to Jim Kaiser. Andy and Jim are two wonderful men in our uh, in our church, and we're so glad you're part of our fellowship, both of you. Uh, great, It's great to see you at Bible studies. It's great to see you on Sunday mornings. Um, and uh, you're talented, gifted, wonderful men of God, and we're, I'm grateful to know you. I pray that today you would be blessed by God, you'd be surrounded by the love of your family and friends, and you would know that you are loved by the King of Kings, my friends, uh, and loved by us as well. Um, let's see, not, no other events today. Tomorrow, Saturday the 20th, is the March Equinox. So the day will be roughly 12 hours of daylight, 12 hours of uh, darkness, uh, and the days will be getting longer. The, the daylight will be getting longer each uh, you know, from, from this point on until uh, the solstice. It's going to be, uh, the days will get, be getting longer and we'll have more daylight and less nighttime. Um, I'm looking forward to more daylight. I don't know about you. And Sunday is, uh, oh, and, and also Saturday is Joel Van Heemst's birthday. Happy birthday, Joel. Joel is our youth uh, leader. And Joel, you're awesome. We love you. And we're praying for you on your birthday. You are a gift of God. And we're, we're delighted that you're part of our fellowship and, and leader in our fellowship, uh, both on stage leading us in worship and also with our youth uh, at 180 and deeper. On Sunday, uh, Sunday the 21st, is Thomas and Deborah Yebue's anniversary. Happy anniversary, Thomas and Deborah. We love you guys as well. It's been a long time since we've seen you because of the COVID, but uh, we look forward to being able to see you again soon. Get the vaccine. Get the vaccine so we can see you soon. We'd love to have you back in church. Uh, God bless you, uh, brother and sister. We love you so much, and we pray that God blesses your anniversary. Uh, you, God has, uh, through you, has produced wonderful children and is producing a great testimony to his name day by day. So God bless you. We love you. And I hope to see you soon in church. Speaking of seeing people in church, on Sunday at 9 o'clock, we have our Sunday morning service here at Arlington Reformed Church, also on live stream and Facebook Live. Make sure you join us uh, either in person or, or virtually, and we'd love to see you. Uh, and then at 1.30 in the afternoon on Sunday is our Redemptive Compassion Study, which is about 10 people in it, my, is my understanding, and is doing really well. Uh, God bless that study, and it's a great time, 1.30 p.m. on Zoom only. So look for the Zoom link in our church bulletin. We are talking uh, this week about uh, Jordan's sermon on Sunday. Jordan talked about uh, how out of the identity, out of Jesus' identity, flowed his demonstrations of compassion and his life of holiness. Jesus demonstrated compassion and lived out holiness out of the identity of who he was, um, who he is still. And that we also live out compassion and demo uh, demonstrate compassion and live out holiness out of the identity that we have in Christ. And yesterday I talked about demonstrating compassion. Today I want to talk about living out holiness. Uh, and Jordan Reference John 17, verses 15 through 19. This is Jesus uh, praying prior to his arrest, praying uh, to God uh, for us. And here's what Jesus prayed. I do not ask that you take them, take us, out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I consecrate myself, that they also may be sanctified in truth. Those words sanctified and consecrated, those are holiness words. Those are words about holiness. And holiness uh, is more, more, more than we think it is. Um, sometimes we think of holiness as a person who never sins, right? And, and that's got some ring of truth to it. Holiness does have to do with righteousness, with, uh, with, with not doing uh, bad things and with doing good things. 
Holiness has to do with our standing before God, that we, are, we stand before him righteous. Uh, but the scriptures tell us that we in ourselves don't have it in ourselves to be holy. Uh, we don't have it in ourselves to live out a holy life. So Jesus lives out a holy life on our behalf and his holiness is imputed to us, that it is given to us as if it were our holiness. Um, and so God looks at us as holy. We stand before him holy and that's our identity in him. But specifically, we stand before him in holiness and we live out that holiness in the world. Jesus says here, he doesn't ask that God would take us out of the world, that we wouldn't be separate from the world in a geographical sense, um, but that we would live in the world and live in a different way than the world lives. In, uh, in Romans 12 verses one and two, uh, the apostle Paul uh, writes that we need to live out our lives as living sacrifices, not conformed to the image of this world, but transformed by the renewal of our minds. Um, that's what it means to be, to live out holiness. Not that we sort of live in a bubble separated from the rest of the world geographically, making it, pushing the world away from us and saying, nope, nope, not gonna be part of that. Um, rather, it means being in the world, living in a bright way, living in a holy way, living amongst the people of the world uh, and but living in a different way that testifies to the greatness of Jesus. Now, again, we don't get to live perfectly. That's one of the things that we struggle with on this earth. Um, so it's not that we sort of live this holier than thou uh, type of life, a holy life, but not a holier than thou life, not a condescending life that, that sneers at other people for their unholiness. Uh, no, because we wrestle with holiness ourselves. Rather, we live a life of transparency among the people in this world, and we're transparent about the fact that Jesus is working in us, and Jesus is working through us. Uh, Jesus has sent us into the world, um, and he sanctifies us through the truth. He makes us holy. That's what it means to live a holy life out in the world. It's not that we are perfect. It's that Jesus is perfect. And in our imperfections, his perfections are shown. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for your love for us. Lord, thank you so much for Andy Miller and Jim Kaiser. Thank you so much for Joel Van Heemst, for Thomas and Deborah Yebue. Thank you for all of those folks who are just wonderful examples to us of what it means to live a Christian life day by day. And I pray that you'd bless them, encourage them today, whether it's their birthday or their anniversary, today, tomorrow, Sunday. Lord, I pray that um, you would bless them in every way and encourage them in your truth. And Lord, I pray that we would not uh, see holiness as a bubble keeping us apart from the rest of the world, but rather we would see holiness as something that you have given us that we then can live out in the midst of the people of the world. Oh, there's a piano upstairs. Lord, we love you and we trust you and we give ourselves to you. Bring, please bring us together on Sunday, I pray in Jesus' name, amen. Well, thanks for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I love you, New Beginnings. I look forward to seeing you on Sunday, either in person here or seeing that you are joining us online uh, through Facebook Live or live stream. And I look forward to talking to you again Monday morning for another daily devotional video.